Meanwhile, as Nick, who's infected and probably just doesn't know yet, but he's feeling the hunger. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? Uh... Both of these are okay, right? I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. There's n no, we're fine. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. Reassuring. Just be careful. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Oh boy. All right, well, before we get into anything here, I'm gonna use the bathroom. All right. Uh, let's see. Attack photo. Blurry close-up photo of Emma being attacked at the treehouse. You know, not too bad. Gets a good shot of how fucking awful that is. Uh, I'm assuming we missed one of the evidence, but I'm, you know, whatever. I, I never play these games thinking I'm gonna find everything because the way they, the way everything is so spread out. Safe hunting, kids. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over Jacob's face. Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes, but didn't shoot. Ryan raced to the forest in time to see Nick being dragged away by a hunter. Ryan didn't shoot at the hunter. Ryan witnessed the hunter shoot his fingers off. Oh. Abby came to Nick's aid when he was attacked in the woods. Nick appreciated Abby trying to help him during the attack. Yeah, barely. She got, as soon as it fucking went for her and it got shot off, she fucking ran. As soon as it was a zoo, her life in danger, gosh. Dylan loosened a rung on the ladder. Yeah. That's gonna bite us in the ass. Okay. What are you- why are you putting it away? Does it not have ammo? Was that what that was? Oh, fuck that. You- Your friends got attacked. By a humanoid looking creature. Fireplace. It's okay. I'm I'm sure it's just the uh I'm pretty sure it's Bobby. Or I'm sorry, the hunter. Yep. Well, I'm not shooting him. I'll gladly let him kill Nick. 
but obviously there's a way to play this with everybody surviving, so. <laughs> no shot. I mean, he's not, I mean, he'd probably shoot on sight, just out of reaction, but, uh... I don't know, I really just want to, like, convene, you know? No sign of him. When you find him, run him. And keep me posted, Bobby. Yeah, see? I better not be fucking blasted because he got spooked. This is a get This is a get fucking shot situation here. She ran back up? I'm letting this happen. Okay, I didn't know she was just gonna- JUST CAPTURE HER! I WANT YOU TO CAPTURE HER! GET THESE DUMB FUCKING KIDS SOME HELP! I don't feel like the best time per se, but like... Yes, yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and. Anyways, and we're in danger now. He took our gun. Well, like now that summer's. I was hoping and, it would be something different. You know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other? You know. Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. What What are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin. She's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. <laughs> well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just... Didn't know if you did too. That... Seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I, you can tell me. Yeah, I... I guess. Ugh. <laughs> just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. Okay, it's season. <laughs> What's going on out there, Caitlin? I'm sure it's gonna be the more because he's infected, he's gonna uh, become more and more of a dick. Oh my God! What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Because he's the blindest motherfucker out there anyways. I wish I had more choices in this situation. Like... It's so fucking obvious these guys are interested in helping us. Or at least, well, maybe not Nick and Abby who are potentially infected, but like... Everybody else? Ugh. I'm sad though. I only... If I had known that he was just gonna take her fucking gun and she was gonna get away, I wouldn't have fucking done that.
now we're now we're in a bad situation where like she really needed that gun more than likely. I just really <laughs> I just wanted to go right, man. Something in the fucking story to go right. Like an actual radio? I thought it was just like for your morning announcement. <sighs> Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player and everything, and, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJ music. Or something. Oh, Jesus. Um. Yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um, I guess he's serious. He's like, wow, you know, back at home, I'm actually a fucking super nerd. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I um. You're a wise. Wise, cracking, smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh... And do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> I wish I was uh, Ryan at this time, because he's got the gun, and I don't. No comment. I, I don't really feel like exploring. But I know the game's sitting there like... What the fuck? Why is it... Oh, it's the light from the antenna. Okay. Um, but yeah. I know the game's sitting there like, There's a tarot card somewhere! Ugh. <sighs> What in the name of voodoo do do is this? Pour it on yourself, mate. No, it's the. It helps you, uh. Oof, swing. Oh! What the fuck? Like, how in the fuck? <laughs> the devil. The devil, without restriction, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demon's unleashed. Each of us have one, even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Ah, oh, Christ. We're gonna see what that means. Uh, there's definitely a section that we're gonna have where Nick and or Abby, bleh, because of their infection, start like lashing out and potentially getting people into bad situations. And we have to like play the situation in a way that like disables them before we can get them cured or something. I don't fucking know if that's an option for them, but yeah. Huh. Yeah, actually, he's taking a picture for smart. Anyways, that means you guys are in danger. Huh. Claw marks exactly where we are. All good? Uh, give me a minute. Huh. 
Give me a minute. All right. Oh, what the? Two and holy shit. The hermit. Here we have the hermit. With the hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection too. Perhaps given some thought, the hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. Well, if that isn't so clearly referring to either the, the fucking sheriff. Or all the, you know, Jebediah and Bobby. I don't know. All good? This place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, he's a little sensitive. It's up to your standards. <laughs> but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 You think the chainsaw will be up. helpful? All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That's not great, but we'll be interested. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. I don't like think this glass? is the time. Yeah, it's easy, like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. Does he have to go outside with so the signal booster? We can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. We've got an emergency here at Camp Hackett! Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. And there's been a horrible accident, attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good. And a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help. So please, I mean, there's vicious bears. Vicious. And uh, we don't know what to do, so please... Uh, come help us, SOS. Uh, this is uh, an emergency. S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. That didn't sound urgent at all. Did I do good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears. But... <laughs> all right. I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, why you do all this nerd stuff? Like, using a radio to communicate. <laughs> yeah, that is clearly okay. not... Don't... 
Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, they're talking. That they're, they're on the radio station with Bobby and uh, Jebediah. That's totally us. Holy shit! They're talking about us. Can we pull out the gun and be ready for the them on the fucking radio? Fuck. The monster outside is the more pressing concern. I know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Yes, you can. Hey, hey, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Don't run out the door, bro! God! Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? That's a good fucking question. Oh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Ryan, you've got the gun. Why isn't he pulling it out, man? He's the worst. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I mean, I'm sure a very motivated bear could get on top of that, Gavin. Thank God. I'm not shooting through the fucking ceiling. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Use the PA, Dylan! Uh, uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! go. Oh yeah, the cabin we broke the latch to. Oh, yeah, fuck, perfect. Dude. That's not going to go wrong. Oh, but maybe that will allow them to go into it easier so they don't have to make noise. Hey, oh, 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 hold up. Hold up. Let's read that path. Let's read that beautiful little path, right? Hold up. Hold up. Uh, uh let's see. Yeah, we chose them to break the lab cabin, okay? Abby left her backpack in the lodge kitchen. I don't know what the fuck I could have done about that, but, uh... Alright, Caitlin, Abby, and Nick were able to hide in the cabin without alerting the creature. Wow! That worked out! Wow! Being rebellious. Worked out perfectly. Don't know about the, the backpack thing, though. That's... The fuck were we supposed to do about that? Wait. Dude, I don't know. Where's the wait option? This thing is clearly not breaking in. It's just investigating the area. Yeah, I might know we're in here and it's waiting, but we've got wood here and we've got a shotgun, which clearly can actually work to at least hold it off. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe, it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and, I mean, it would hurt like hell, but, you know. Okay, then do it! Do it. Let's do 
almost. Take a breath, dude. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Right. So, so, there's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. I pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. I'll cover you? Like, we're going out there? Do it now. Go, quickly. Okay. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Get the shotgun and maybe shoot it. Dude, if Ryan gets bit too, oh, I'm gonna be so fucking livid. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. Uh, it did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. I'm sorry about your hand, <laughs> but we'll get you a nice looking prosthetic. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. It was probably a good idea, honestly. Is it safe? The monster ran away. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What's going on at Oh my god! Dylan, what happened? Oh, um I'm okay. I, I, I mean I'm not, um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit. Uh did that thing do this? No. Uh, well, well sort of. It... <laughs> Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Oh! Wait! That's... Who the fuck is this? Who was she? Should we follow her? Was that Laura? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> uh, yeah, what is that? If I were 
It's not Emma. She was clothed. Jacob doesn't have long hair. What is this weird ass cliffhanger, dude? And that's the, uh, we'll see you next week for the next episode of The Quarry. But yeah, I guess they're just freaking out because it's a corpse. But it, clearly, it's probably an infected woman. Looked like it, at least. How you doing, Bert? The raven. Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. True. Not, on, not our choice, though. Let's take a look once more. The devil, without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Even those who are pure of heart and say their prayers by night. Sounds like it's Ab Abigail's the big thing to worry about. Here we have... The Hermit. With the Hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought, the Hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. Yeah, uh, I guess. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Of course. Show me double the more. Two futures to see, but only one can be seen. Make your choice. That's rude, and you know it. Fuck. Ah, uh, jeez. Let's see the devil. The hermit feels pretty self-explanatory. It's literally probably just the sheriff and he might help us at some point, depending on our actions or one of the hillbillies. But the devil, we need to see who this could be. Oh my. Well, that's Abby's head. Chopped we off. spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. All right, lovely. Yeah, I guess we'll see, uh... Surely they have to see who this person is. Oh, Jacob! Emma! Jesus Christ. Jesus! Fuck! Oh, man. God, this night sucks ass. Jacob! No, Jacob's getting harassed by the ghost now. Who? Emma, <laughs> is that you? Emma, do you sound suspiciously like an old woman whispering in the the wind? I can't go down there. Okay. So now that we know that tarot cards can be hidden by like the dumbest as fuck angles, uh, I, that worries me. It's like I'm gonna have to rub my face even more on things to find the correct angle for the tarot card to pop, pop up. Uh, well, it is amusing as hell that we're dealing with two mysteries right now. I wonder if they'll actually be connected together. Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Uh, knock on wood, Jacob. Jesus, fuck. Well, he's blooded. So he shouldn't have to worry about, um, 
the monsters. Yeah. Oh, it's a boot. Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. Is it a boot? Or is it just a large foot? I actually... Really hard to tell. Uh, this is the area that Emma arrived at. So, like, she should be here. She was able to successfully zip line over. Lucky her. Uh huh. Uh huh. Justice. Justice. An eye. For an eye. Not exactly, in some cases. But cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything, and we all play a part in making sure the scales can't be tipped. There's so many more tarots remaining. You know, the fact that we've even started to get them is good. Okay. Well, it's not like Jacob can fight. Jesus Christ! Oh. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Oh my God, no way. Am I glad to see you? <laughs> oh. oh! Jesus Christ! Ah! You left me back there, you asshole! Oh God, Emma, come on! Oh. Oh God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah! Me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? What Sorry, do you mean, why? I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? You have a picture of it. Like, out of a horror movie? Oh, uh, sure. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Well, it stays, um, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these It words. saves yeah, no Jacob. Shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> it's caught up to you! Run! Man, I wonder if he'll fall off the bridge. Some nice ears you got there. He looks different. Jacob! Damn, that's rough. Um, hide. If he dies, he dies. But, like, I'm fucking hoping the blood helps. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. So, 
let's we're, we're gonna make the safe assumption that just because we're covered in blood Doesn't mean we're incapable of being attacked. I don't know if I grammatically said it. We're, we're probably still in danger with Jacob. Is that a bear trap right next to his foot? Oh, fuck. Oh, ah, oh, damn it, Jacob! Shit. Oh. 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 Damn it, Jacob! I saw them! Pry open. Jebediah <laughs> Jebediah You're the one who put a bunch of fucking bear traps all over the place without any warning to people you Can't just knock people out like that Who the fuck is this? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? Oh, I thought no. she went home with her brother. No! Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Poor Chris. Oh, man. Poor uh, Kaylee. Nick is growling. Nick? You smell so good. Interview. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. Um. I mean, isn't she infected too? Are you? I want to taste you. Hey. Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Oh, get off. Watch out! I said get off! Nick? Are you okay? I just wanted him to stop. Well, this is interesting. Is it the water? Is it the... <laughs> no, we're comforting Abby. Damn, that sucks, dude. It's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. <laughs> what did I do? I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Ah, Nick is gonna turn. He's the devil. He's the devil. So I guess Abby just got scratched and didn't get bit. I'm sorry. Ah, quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding, but you need to see a doctor. <laughs> yeah, you need to be fucking kept in the hospital for a while. Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. Uh, give them back? You need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos. Whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. I mean... We've got four of ten. Surely, like, if we get, like, seven of the evidences, right? Surely that's enough. You okay over there, Abby? 
Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? So this is uh, Abigail. Sit with Nick. Um, this is the room that we saw during the Devil Vision, and we saw Abigail's head get fucking taken clean off in a blur motion. Uh, so it's safe to assume that it's either Nick. Oh my god! Look how look how she looks when I'm just holding the analog stick like that. Ooh, ooh. It's either Nick is about to turn and attack Abigail and chops her head fucking clean off, or they get attacked by a different creature during this time, and Nick tries to help, but barely it does, like, fucking anything. Nah, you can stay there. Fuck you. You're infected as fuck. Everybody just stare at each other and not help me. There's something out there, like a water tank or something. I thought it was voices at first, like garbling over a radio. Alright, it's probably safe enough to do this. Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. Oh no. Maybe we should move it back, actually. I just, I was like, surely there's at least one prompt that we can do with Nick where she won't get fucking, like, bit or something. <laughs> Another tarot card. Oh, God, though. That means we're gonna have... Yeah, we have the moon and justice. We have to choose between. I don't like that. Spooky drawing. Among the uh, miscellany of these forgotten belongings is a scribbled drawing of a woman in the woods. These ghost stories seem to have really left the mark. So different, like 12 hours ago. Well, that didn't help me at all. So are we... Okay, we're just inside the pool room. Interesting to see that there's no blood out there, or maybe we're just not close enough to it. Yeah, okay, we just weren't. It hasn't spread throughout the whole pool. I wonder where Caleb is. Camper's photo. A recent piece of camp history. A younger Ryan enjoying his time at camp with Chris Hackett's kid. Uh, kids, Caleb and Kaylee. Well, unfortunately, Caleb got... Or yeah, Kaylee's something is blasted. not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh, he was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too, at the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Hmm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hmm, interesting. Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Abby. Yeah? You're dead. Can I ask you something? Of course. Stop getting close. Stop getting close to him. He's about to turn. Nick. 
Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? Such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? God, please don't just let this happen, guys. Yeah. Okay. Her head's gonna come clean up. Like me, Abby. Fuck it. You know what, dude? You're being a Nick, dick. You're different. No, I no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What the hell? I'm sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? I do. I... I... You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Yeah, Stop. you're losing this shit. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... Oh my God! Whoa, whoa, Abby. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit! Shotgun him. It's shotgun time. Now we have to be closer. He's too far. fucking head I don't feel bad we were literally told shoot him at close range he was across the fucking room she dropped the gun that's her own fucking fault oh my god he's turned even into something worse I'm just gonna drop the gun fucking stupid Christ but all right we got our first character death. Too bad. Just, she, it's, it'd be one thing if she didn't have the gun before, right? Like, oh, she got thrown across the room. She was like stranded there, got killed that way. She dropped the fucking gun after pointing it. Okay, so if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... To the lodge. To the lodge. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh. Oh my god. Oh my lordy. Uh, unbelievable. The dumbest fucking death. And what were the others doing? It literally didn't show them at all. He fucking explodes into a new creature. Like, 
And how was shooting him going to stop it? Like, <laughs> like, or like, I, 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 I get like, you know, it was uh, probably the better idea to shoot him. Clearly not shooting him. Got her killed. But like the game deliberately tells us, deliberately tells us, hey, your shot, your, your shots are more effective the closer you are. And we're across the fucking room. With the shotgun, we're like at the range that the shotgun didn't even fucking damage a watermelon. Okay. Like we're literally at that fucking distance, basically. And he's just staring at us. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to play the safe game. And I'm going to fucking like wait for a second chance where like he like he approaches us. And we shoot him in closer range, you know, and I'd be fine if that's how it, we lost that. Like, oh, I waited too long and he got the jump on us because, yeah, sure. He's that that creature was fast as fuck. Not not that we've ever seen any of them fucking be that fast, literally fucking ever until that point. Every single one of them. Oh, this entire time has barely been able to keep up with Emma and Jacob. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> but suddenly, this new hatch creature can leap across the entire room faster than anyone can fucking do anything. Not that it would fucking matter, because Abby drops the fucking gun after things get scarier. Like, Jesus. It'd be one thing if, like, she's holding a pistol, right? She's holding a pistol. Maybe she's holding it with like one hand and it like fumbles in her hand. She has to do like a quick time event to try and like catch it or something. Fine. But when you're holding a two handed fucking weapon, right? Like you have to full body just commit to being like, well, I guess this fucking thing's out of my hands now. Oh my God. That's gonna be one of those. We're like, obviously, you know, after after I play through this, we're we're gonna look through, um, and see. And I, I want to see what the routes are. That's gonna save everybody because I I already didn't expect to save everybody, but that was just the dumbest fucking death so far. Like, <sighs> like it's it's been painful. It's been real painful how stupid the characters have been, but dropping the fucking shotgun. And not even trying to pick it up. She didn't die trying to reach for the shotgun. And listen, I get it. In a fearful situation, you don't know what's going to really happen. I certainly would be really fucking surprised and caught. I was, I was surprised and caught off guard that the way he transformed was exploding into a new form. I thought it was going to be like a gradual shift or maybe like a sudden overall shifting of form in and of itself, not an explosion. But you know what? I didn't drop my fucking controller. <laughs> and why did she have the shotgun anyways? What the fuck? Wasn't it on Ryan? Ryan literally had it slung over his shoulder. I'm so fucking just flabbergasted and pissed about that. Oh, okay. Okay. We're moving on. Just holy shit. I'm I'm happy she's dead. Like what a ugh. Only one left. I don't like to think of like a character as being like the weakest fucking link. I like to think that sometimes they'll have their like their strengths in the situations, you know, just like they said, oh, there might be hidden strength to the people. But there we go. We fucking wasted the devil tarot card view viewing. <sighs> Got the same fucking result. Because you're supposed to do the opposite of what they informed you to do. 
And she just shouldn't have told me that game. I would have happily <laughs> blasted him. Stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. They officially suck as counselors. Hi. <sighs> My God. Emma's probably dead too. Letter to home. The camper that wrote this must have had a change of heart and decided not to send this letter home. Ghost stories are only stories after all. Hi, Mom. Camp is so fun. Mr. Hackett is teaching us so much about nature and being safe in the woods. My friend Josh said he saw a ghost. I think he is lying just to scare me, but I drew a picture of her anyway. She looks quite angry, but I think sometimes when people are angry, they are just sad instead. We're going sailing on the lake tomorrow. I can't wait. Love for a moment. And then there's this. This letter matches up from the drawing in the pool house, but why was it torn up? Maybe there's something in this ghost story. Well, yeah, I, you know, the, the ghost story feels all kind of like just a distraction in the narrative. Like, oh, it's, she's real spooky, but really it doesn't matter. She's just there trying to like help out in reality. I don't know though. That's too many characters trying to potentially help us out that we can't mm -hmm. actually communicate with. Anyways. If Emma dies, that's kind of whatever. Like, I want her to survive. You know, I, I want everybody to survive in general. But she's literally the stranded alone character of this game. And that's a rough position to be in in these fucking super massive games, dude. Like, they have to do so goddamn much. She's already getting stalked. Like, how many goddamn werewolf creatures are out there? Ugh. I'm gonna keep walking this way. Like, whatever. Oh, hey. Fork in the road. <laughs> 